All right, guys, welcome to our first interview. It's a post-draft interview, and it's with Rand Safety, Terrell Burgess. We're doing it on a podcast, and we're doing a video. How's it going, Terrell? How is everything? And, uh, you know, welcome to the show again. Thank you. Thank you. It's going well. I'm, uh, I'm still um, – I'm excited. This is a, it's a crazy time period. I don't know what to think right now. I'm just going through day by day, you know, with the pick on Friday. I'm just – so excited to and blessed with the opportunity to be able to come contribute to a, a great team. So I'm just, I'm ready to get to work. Yeah, well, we're really excited as well. I mean, uh, Jake and I spoke to you before the draft, um, kind of during the draft process, and we really uh, were huge fans and we're really hoping you don't have a and you did. Uh, yeah. We did a live stream. And so when you got drafted, we were like jumping up and down and like super excited. So, uh, you know, we're hyped to have you on the team, um, and we're excited for you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm excited as well. Yeah, and uh, just kind of going back to the draft, we're just curious. So you were selected um, on day two of the draft. Uh, yes. What was your, your setup for the draft? I mean, who did you have with you, um, and did you have any you know party or anything like that? Uh, I didn't really have a party. I had my siblings with me. My girlfriend was there, My obviously my mom. And then my mom's, uh, my mom's boyfriend was there. And it was just like small, just kind of just, I didn't really want a big party, especially with the quarantine and everything, <laughs> weren't able to have a party. But I just, just a few people were there just to, I mean, I didn't know which day I would go. So it was crazy because, I don't know, the first day I watched the draft kind of like a fan because I, you know, I had the feeling I wouldn't go on the first day. And the second day, I knew there was a possibility, but I knew there was more of a possibility for me to go on Saturday. So it was kind of like small people again. So I didn't know what was going to happen. So I'm just blessed with the opportunity. Yeah, it's awesome hearing your take on that. And, you know, like you said, watching as a fan. Um, but, you know, the, the cool thing about the draft is, you know, when you get selected where you get selected, it's all about, you know, you're selected, right? Uh, some yes. guys, they, they choose to look at it as, in a way like, well, you know, you guys are all going to pay because I went later than a guy that I know I'm better than. But, you know, we know you uh, just uh-huh. having you on. We knew you would be the humble uh, – guy that you are uh looks sure. like you know you're just really uh just happy to be uh, a ram and uh, obviously yes. we're happy to have you um 100%. but with that being said you know you waited a little bit um the rams had two picks in the third round uh they went with terrell lewis so they went with another terrell um yes i think that's the first time i've ever seen that and uh <laughs> and then um you know what was the feeling like when your name was ultimately called with their second pick in, in the third round uh, it, was, it felt great. Uh, I just remember, like, the third down was winding down, and we got to, like, the 100th pick, and I knew there was only six picks left. I looked at the teams, and I was like, ah, there's only a couple teams on there that I've actually, like, really talked to. The rest of the teams, I haven't. So it would be like a land. I don't want to say it would be like a miracle if they would have drafted me, but I didn't know what was going to happen. So, you know, the pick 100 went by, pick 100, 101 went by, and it was like in the middle of pick 102, my phone starts buzzing and I was like, Ooh, this is crazy. And it says thousand Oaks, California. And I was like, Oh Jesus, the Rams. Like, and I didn't know if it was going to be a call. The call and it ended up being the call. Let's see. The, it was an amazing feeling. I was sitting right next to my brother when I got the call and I was just excited to, to, to be able to start on a new team. I'm just, I'm just excited. Yeah, definitely. And just kind of going back to the call, um, how did that call go and, and what was that like? I, I, it's, it's all over uh, social media right now, but uh, <laughs> so he calls me and I say, hello, this is Terrell Burgess. He said, hey, this is Les Snead. And I kind of like pause for a second. And he says, how you doing? I said, I'm doing well. And then he said, I was one of with Buffalo. I said, Ram, and I started to hear anything else that he said, honestly, because I was so emotional. And all I heard was him talk about, all right, Coach McVay's going to call you with a and Like, he called me, and he's like, all right, I'm going to hand the phone. After he's talking for a while, I didn't hear much what he said. Uh, Coach, Coach Staley called, or he gets on the phone, and he starts talking. I, don't hear much of what he said so I was just so emotional I still I remember some things but 
a lot of it I was so emotional, so overwhelmed with the with the pick and so excited that I don't remember much of the conversation, but I knew it was a good one. <laughs> no, I, I, I hear you there. Uh, I did see it on social media. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, you know, seeing that and seeing how you and, and ha- how you and your family just really happy and, and just raw emotion uh, from you. They actually posted it on, on Sneed's side of the call and then your side. So, uh, you know, pretty cool stuff there. Uh, yeah. You know, I, I know, you know, you spoke with us earlier. Uh, you know, you told us the Rams met with you. Um, but did you have a really good feeling about this ultimately being your landing spot or did this kind of come out of nowhere? <laughs> Honestly, like, I feel like there was, like, there was things throughout the draft process, like, from the day that I, like, had my last game, my bowl game, until to, until the draft day on Friday that, like, I should have, I should have, like, took notice to, but I think I kind of was just going through day by day, like, thinking in my head that it could be any team. So, I think I, I had no clue that it was going to be the Rams, but I'm excited it is. I'm excited I get to stay in Southern California. It's where I'm from. So I'm just excited to get to work. Yeah, that's awesome. And um, it was reported that you had been uh, mentored by former Utah great and last year's starting Rams free safety, Eric Weddle. Uh, what's yes. your relationship like with him? Oh, it's nice. Uh, I mean, he was, uh, he was really good friends with my DC from college. They played uh, at Utah together. So I think, we text back and forth sometimes. He gives me advice on different things sometimes. He's a good, he's a really good person. And I'm glad that I have him as a resource to this next step in my life. Yeah, that, that's awesome. Uh, you know, Eric, uh, he was awesome seeing him play for the Rams, albeit, you know, it was only one year, but, uh, you know, love seeing what he was able to do throughout his career. And then, you know, when he gives the ring endorsement about you, we already knew about you, but when he gave that ring endorsement, it kind of, you know, helped the, the rest of the Ram uh, fan base kind of like, okay, okay, all right, you know, there we go. Um, yeah. with, with that being said, uh, have any of, you know, your new Rams teammates uh, reached out to you? And if so, um, who has that been? Uh, I've, well, obviously I knew, I knew a couple of the, I knew uh, Cam Akers and I knew Jordan Fuller. So we've, had a couple conversations since uh, since we got picked, and then I reached out to uh, John Johnson and Taylor Rapp this morning. So I've talked to them. Also, Andrew Whitworth, I've talked to him. So I've talked to a couple guys since since I, I was since I got drafted, and I'm just excited to be able to meet my new teammates and go to war with them. Yeah, that's awesome. And uh, you know, this next question is is something that's always interesting to ask people after they've been drafted. But uh, yes. look, looking back on the draft process, what would you say was your favorite part of the process? In your oh, and your worst part. Uh, that's, <laughs> see, ah, uh, okay. My favorite part of the process was I definitely would have to say ah, uh, that's hard. That's hard. I think. Uh, being able to train, uh, honestly, no, like going to the, the combine and the senior bowl were both like a great experience. They might've been long weeks, but they were a great experience just because I got to meet a bunch of guys around the country that are, you know, trying to do the same thing. Like I am, obviously there's a lot of guys on my team that were, uh, going into the draft and they're excited as well, but being able to meet guys from around the country that are trying to do the same thing as you with this, you know, same skill set, different skill set, they play different ways. It's, it's nice to see, you know, put a name to the face and be able to compete in a, diff, in a different uh, atmosphere than your comfortable facilities and at your college. So I think that was the best part, like going to the Combine and Senior Bowl. The worst part, I'd say those two minutes before, like maybe like the five minutes before, five, ten minutes before I got drafted was probably the worst part just because I was like, ah, I don't know what's going to happen, like, just because, like, I, I just, I, got, I started to get nervous. Like the whole week, I was like, "Oh, I'm staying, keep my head on." Like people kept asking me, if I was nervous. And I'm like, "No," but I started to get really nervous, like right before I got the call. And I think that might have been the worst part. Everything else, the draft process was great. The, the meetings I had with all different teams was great. Like the FaceTime calls, uh, everything, nothing, like everything, nothing was sort of amazing. So I think I'd say like those few minutes right before I got the call that I was really nervous was probably the worst part. And that's not saying much. So I think I, I had a pretty good draft process, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, we've asked that question before. We even had uh, one person from the past say, yeah, I, I hated everything about it. I'm happy it's over with. So uh, <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> it's always funny to get a, a variation of uh, responses on that. I uh, did forget to ask you earlier, 
Um, you know, you're with the Rams defense. It's a, a rookie uh, defensive coordinator and Brandon Staley here. Um, yes, sir. You know, we don't have a lot of information uh, as analysts and, and reporters, but, um, you know, kind of how we're expecting this to go is that they're going to try and emulate something of that, of a, of a Vic Fangio scheme, uh, who is now okay. the head coach of the Denver Broncos and he was a defensive coordinator for uh, the Chicago Bears. My question for you is, uh, what do you see your role being uh, with the Rams, uh, you know, moving forward? Honestly, I see my role like the way I try to approach the game is just try and give more value than I can receive in payment. And that's my DC told me that in college, and I'll, I'm willing to do anything, whatever it helps to, whatever it takes to help the team win. So, if the team needs me, to, if the team needs me to play corner, nickel, safety, play special teams, any any position they need me to play on the defense side of the ball. I mean, I'd rather stay on the defense side of the ball, but if they ask me to move to the offense side of the ball, I would do that as well. So, but I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll play any position. I just want to be able to contribute. Love that answer. And uh, you know, do you have a specific goal that you set yourself for your first NFL season? Do I have a what? Uh, a specific goal that you've set uh, for yourself for your first NFL season? Ooh, no, I haven't. I haven't set any goals yet. That's uh, that's probably my next thing on the list. I I need to do before I uh, get to camp and everything. But I definitely want to. I want to make the. I'll I'll tell you my first goal is to to make the team to make the make the fifty three. I guess now fifty six man man roster. I want to I want to be able to do that and be able to contribute on the team. And then I'll start to you know make goals as long as. As, as they go. Hey, I, I, I like that. I definitely like that. Um, you know, the gold, the gold question, I mean, you had to throw it out there. Obviously there's a lot you've been, you know, kind of throwing the kitchen sink at <laughs> this weekend. Yeah. So, you know, it's uh it's pretty cool there, but um, you know, last question from me here. Uh, what would you say to Rams fans uh, about what you yourself are bringing to the table to LA uh, starting day one? Um, starting day one, you're gonna bring. Um, I'm bringing uh, a guy that likes to work. I'm gonna give 110 percent effort as many times I, or all all the time. Every day, every day I start, come on to work because this is a this is a job now. So I'm ready to get it, and I'm ready to come contribute, do what I can to help the team win, bring a bring a chance championship back to the Rams. I don't want to say back to Los Angeles because it's only been here for a couple of years and it was in St. Louis, but I want to say just come help bring a championship back to the team. That's awesome. We love it, and, and we're excited for you. Again, we're so happy that, that you're Ram. Um, a lot of exciting times coming up for you, so I know that you're excited as well. And just thank you so much for taking the time. We know that you've been super busy, obviously, the past couple of days, but for taking the time to talk to us. It means a lot. Oh, of course. Thank you. I appreciate you guys having me on. Absolutely, Terrell. Uh, of course, you know, let's keep in touch. We'll be following you, and uh, good luck the rest of the way, of course. Most importantly, uh, you know, wishing you and your family all the health in the world, and of course, football health. Stay healthy, man, because you're going to do big yes. things. 100%. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. You have a good one. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.